and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. So you can see the result of uh, increasing the steel production and steel delivery. We are producing tools like never before right now. And we might even need a third Indianapolis tools delivery system here. Tools are, yeah, look at that, 58%, 40%. So we have the ability to deliver way more tools. Um, and part of the reason is the trucks that are delivering stuff. Um, because we there's very, virtually no commercial that this thing is actually covering. Just a little bit of this fringe here. So these are probably getting the bulk of the tools and stuff that we're delivering. But if we look... If we look at a good catalyst for, or a good example of production here, uh, we can see, if we go to charts, you can see the loaded just starts skyrocketing right here. And this is um, basically right here, I think, is when we enacted that new steel. So if we look at this as well, you can see right here, produced way higher than all of the previous years. Um, so I think what we're gonna want is a third. If I look at industry two, we have a third. We might need a fourth, come to think of it. So let's buy a fourth. We're gonna keep it just regular boxcars. Uh, I think it's basically what 80. Um, that is 234. Uh, so this is going to be. It's not livestock, obviously. It'll it'll switch it out when the time comes. So this is Indianapolis Tools. Now we've got a fourth train. Delivering tools to Indianapolis tools and machines and now we're producing machines at a much much higher rate Now that we're delivering far more of the requirements So you can see these both of these went way up from what they were just a couple episodes ago uh, and our planks our whole wood line has really exploded um, so with these we're, we I might want uh, depending on how old they are, I might want to start upgrading these to have more uh, wagons on them. Because the system now demands far more capacity. We are just delivering just constant materials into this place. I could also use these tracks, these two that are over here, to deliver plastic. Uh, where would I get plastic? Well, we've got an oil field over here, uh, and this refinery right now is producing fuel, but we need to actually deliver more oil. So I think what we're going to do is double this up so we can deliver more, more raw oil, crude oil. And that way, this will really beef this up a bit. So let's drag that out. We got a ways to go here, so let's zoom that out. Okay, so I want this one to come out, connect up. I want this one. No, no, no. See, I didn't want. I didn't want that. That's what I wanted. There we go. Now I can drag this out and really zoom out here. Make sure that's connected. 
good times. And let's do some signaling here. Okay, so I don't need that many signals on this line, so I'm going to kind of do every other one here. Because we have three trains on this. I don't think that is too many. I'd, I'd rather than rather than add trains, uh, I'd rather double this up so we have more frequent line line usage, or I don't know what you'd call it, more frequent line servicing. Now for the rail, uh, this can come in right here. So for now, we're just going to do right there. Okay, so this is a medium gray. So let's set up to medium gray. And we're going to do a tanker, crude oil. Match that up. Duplicate it twice. Set line to Shreveport crude. There we go. This might kick itself off the line, but uh, if it does, it'll come. It'll come back. We got a lot of crude that we need to move um, because this doesn't have any crude stored up. It's got a, quite a bit of fuel, but you can see how fast. You can see how fast the fuel is being used. So it's delivering all that fuel pretty quickly. Look at Indianapolis fuel. Wow. Okay. Indianapolis fuel replacement. So there's a 12. We'll be able to set 13 on there. Uh, that's a good red. And fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And these should be, yeah, these are old enough, so we're gonna do a twenty-five percent yes. We've got four vehicles on that, so that's. I mean, it's a long run, of course, but with these faster trains, it's like having a train and a half with these ones that can go faster. So. I think that will that will do a pretty good job of delivering the fuel in. Let's look at uh, Indianapolis's fuel rating, 66%. So yeah, that's kind of our baseline. We'll see, you know, after a year or two with this with these new trains running how well that that uh that compensates for that. If we need to add another train, we can, but I want them I want these to upgrade first before I consider adding another train. Otherwise, uh, it might just be wasteful. And it looks like Atlanta Fuel is doing pretty good. Look at that profit, $41 million last year in profit. And now that we're delivering more oil, that will be even better. So, this new line is going strong, so he should speed speed up quite a bit. So let's see, we got one train here, one train there. So yeah, it looks like they cross right about here. So you'll have a cross, and then you'll have another cross. So they, these are actually spaced out pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, with these this increase in speed, unless this one upgraded. Oh, this one did upgrade. So that increase in speed will be ref reflected with this first first run. And this next set will upgrade. It will upgrade eventually. It will get there. Uh, let's look at co uh, construction material. So this, this train is already uh, running the fast engine. 
but I, I, I have a feeling that we have a couple delivery areas that aren't using the faster engine. Uh, cows especially are not using the faster engine, but it looks like we've got plenty of cows. Well, 100 and, well, it's not plenty of cows, but we got a lot of food in reserve there, so I'm not worried about supply. Um, that was the updated one. Where's another construction material? There's another one. So Green Bay is fine. Uh, Indianapolis. Looks like it's already upgraded. Yeah, I might have upgraded these already. Okay, so all the the oil is all is all delivered, or the uh, oil is all upgraded, I should say. At least the fuel is. Oh, and then we have this one sitting waiting because it upgraded. That's that's just great. Oh, we'll see how how much we get for this little delivery. Almost twenty million. It's a pretty good return. So replacement, hundred percent new. And yeah, this is all upgraded, but it looks like it's not even full. So who had all the construction material up here waiting? Nashville. Oh yeah, Nashville. That's that really long tunnel. Okay, uh, Nashville is over here. So this, I believe, is where our construction material comes in. How are we for supply? See, we've dropped in supply now, so I could be able... I could be able. Is that even... That's not even a thing. I should be able to be to upgrade this to double double capacity now signaling deep underground is very very difficult so uh, let's which direction should I split these off so this is the line right up through here and we're underneath here Underneath the food, is there a spot I can double it up? I could. Um, which direction do I want to double it up on? Ooh, I'm gonna need to come off. I'm gonna need to come off the right side here. So, this should be my line. Let's just double check that this is indeed Nashville. Yes, it is. Okay, now this process is going to be pricey and very laggy. So, let's just build that once in a while. underneath all that it's a very deep tunnel look how way down that is oh there is Indianapolis oh leg oh leg oh the leg is real Rocking three frames per second there. There, now we're poking back out again. Okay, the tough part is done. Let's, uh, I'm gonna split this off. Merge that in. Now, where is my train? Where is my Nashville? I think it's coming in the wrong, or the right the right track, the proper track. So we're gonna try to 
get a signal in here somewhere. Ooh, that worked. Oh, beautiful. Try to go a little bit further. And let's see. Okay, that doesn't move. Oh, there we go. Oh, can't believe that worked. That is usually next to impossible. So we're going to build one up here as well, if we can. And then finally, right at the end, when we merge in. Now, for a depot, I'm not sure how we actually put a train on that track. But I can certainly come up here and maybe, maybe get a train. It'll be kind of a long, thin one, but uh, we're gonna. We need to get a depot on there. There we go. So that is Nashville construction material. And if I could find the train, that is a part of. I think it's right. No, that's in Indianapolis. I keep thinking that that's the right one. But it is Nashville, right here. And I'm not sure where that I'm not sure where that engine is. There it is. Okay. Now I need another train for construction material. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, Nashville construction material is good to go. And he is stopping because this train is going, this train has already marked this segment, this block, as reserved. So even though he's way back here, he's already he's already said, hey, this is my block. I'm coming in here. And looks like, yeah, Nashville, uh, looks like St. Louis is also pretty high up there. But if we look at their rating, 69%, see that could, that might, I might be able to get away with doing another set there. And this guy is loading in, and this guy is emerging. And he should be, I mean, this guy's making money hand over fist. So, I mean, look at that, 72 million in profit. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I wish I had 72 million in profit. And this, this engine here is an older version. How old is he? 28 years, he could be upgraded. And now our second second train is coming in. Should be just fine. Uh, we will not fill him up though. Unless he unless it adds a couple. Yeah, no, it's not. Not gonna do it. Not gonna give it to us. That's unfortunate. Yeah, St. Louis, this train. So one of the reasons why St. Louis is backed up is because this train is a little bit slower. So let's replace him with an over overachieving one. So construction material and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? I lost count. Nice little hitch there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're going to do 100% or 25% until he, until he replaces. 
and that should allow a little bit more delivery down there um, which will help keep get that get that percentage up a little bit higher which should be good if we look in Indianapolis check tools and stuff so 43 percent 48 percent even though we should be delivering yeah look at look at the people walking right there that's one of the reasons why this is sort of backed up and yeah, look at the food even though I've got a ton of trucks on this this really bothers me that the whole uh, crosswalk thing I mean look at the people walking that's that is an insane number of people that are moving on this line. So now you can see why I wanted f a capacity 50 truck. Because it's just not good enough. I might need to add a couple more trucks to this line. Although these, these are doing pretty good. Uh, doing one after another. And so look at our, our beautiful city. Let's turn that off. We've got quite a few high-rises going now which is nice uh, Indianapolis is 7,097 people we are almost at the 10,000 mark just keep pushing this this growth here yeah people you need to I wish there was a little bit more traffic management options in the game that would be that would be so nice Look at the tools coming in, and the food. So much food. I might want to add a second line. Because we are really pushing our luck right now with this commercial. Even with 50 delivery, it's still, I mean, look at that. That's four trucks worth five trucks worth just in food then we have a whole nother truck worth of worth of tools and we have a whole bunch more food coming in that's an insane amount of goods okay it looks like the green bay has upgraded so let's set that back And our passenger system is really booming right now. Look at the Jacksonville commuter trains. These things are just plumb full now on their runs. I might need to add a th another train to this line. Might need to. All right. Well... It looks like planks have recovered a little bit. Tools have gone down. Looks like we're delivering our tool demand here. Yeah, quite a few tools. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.